is for inmates, uniform projects for officers, hand locks, hand cuffs, all which they use for pressure for the inmates and officers, and they are the main studies. Okay, we're not getting a quantity at all, no? We're not getting everything burnt down. Okay. It's not the main time. Cash cooker. It's not the main time. Then, then, then this floor, the floor not the hospital. Now, now we control entrance now. Now we control some entrance now. Allow all man of car inside. We go for respect social distancing. No officer, not there for do that. Gentlemen, I'm sure they block the place. 
Um, 
the Honorable Vice President, can I add today, forget a first-hand assessment of the damage will happen at the prisons yesterday during the riot. Um, His Excellency President Julius Madabio continue to manage the affairs of state from my home, uh, like the Vice President, the hands on people there. This matter is too serious for silence. We've been there yesterday, but the power they need for candy for see for themselves, for some account, and let them able get, you know, a cost assessment of the damage as a commitment, a demonstration of um, this government in seriousness for providing public safety, of ensuring the well-being and welfare of all Sierra Leoneans. So, Your Excellency, the Honorable Vice President, you most heartily welcome. Um, with we now we'll get the Minister of Internal Affairs, um, Honorable Edward Suluku, the Deputy Minister of Information and Communications, Honorable Madi Gobert, um, Dr. P.K. Moana, the Strategic Communications Advisor, and Boku Boku Alejo them from the Security Sector, Office of National Security, um, you know, and various other uh, units, the Army, the Police, the Naya, at the very highest levels for local council. Okay, thank you very much, Minister of Information. Well, I think Pambul and Lawyer, me as the Minister of Internal Affairs, what this thing happened at the camp yesterday, I see briefly what did they happen and try to see what the situation was that control. We thank God for the effort of all the security sectors that what they do for make sure say yes. The one day what they have a plan for let them do, at least that is that is now we know what to talk about because it's not possible for them let anybody come out, out of the custody of this place. Now only the quantum of destruction will they cause. Now that make me as the Minister of Internal Affairs, I also engage the Vice President who happen for be the Chairman of the Sierra Leone Correctional Council for let itself can see first hand what are the quantum of destruction will happen by this facility. So if we are there this afternoon, and for that make, we we'll bring out the Honorable Vice President who will also double as the Chairman of the Sierra Leone Correctional Council for let itself can see first hand what will happen for the attention of His Excellency the President. I will thank you very much, Honorable Minister. At least when I all don't see, when I don't see the level, you have seen the level of destruction. And then as of now, the report coming out of here is that nine inmates uh, lost their life and one officer lost a life. Eleven now as, Ele as, 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 of, now. as of now, 11 inmates and one officer lost a life. And uh, you get 42 injured, out of which 29 of them injured and they uh, inmates them. Two things. One is that UNASEF don't see the destruction it affects certain facilities there, including the main store, the catering, the hospital, and some of the administrative blocks and the workshops. The other thing what we want to say is that yesterday, since yesterday, we don't try for maintain security. The also prison records are safe because in the last one year, we don't move the prison record from being paper alike to digital. So all the prison records they're safe because even though the administrative block is damaged because we've been done the move, we don't transform or they use now uh, high tech uh, uh, for, for record damage. The other thing since yesterday, we don't establish a committee for investigate this issue. The committee don't get in first meeting today. The committee, they work speedily for let them bring out the real thing out of it and then they will make recommendations for the attention of His Excellency the Price President. Equally so, His Excellency the President yesterday don't instruct a group where they can look at, you know, then they can assess the damage and then they can see for put resources so that we immediately for put this facility back on the right footing so that then we will provide the services in terms of catering, medical and the stores. So this is not the thing the way government don't put in place. So we we'll just want to assure the public and reassure Sierra Leoneans and say, as of now, prison records are safe. The inmates then safe. The one day where 11 don't lost their life, 42 injured, like we say, out of which 29 are inmates, would they take care of that day? Government, they put in place the measures that now immediately, this assessment what I can do so now for can see the extent of damage so that at least then they go inspire the committee where the president don't put together for immediately go back to work and get them facilities they are up and running. So now they will be as for now. As also chairman of the correctional services, I just want to say for quite some time now, we don't think about another developmental aspect to this. We don't see say the prison, don't think, yeah? 
government been the think about bringing ideas together for a potential relocation so that at least the prison will get space that then they, this whole idea of correctional services where it means for support prisoners then for transform themselves from criminal to productive citizen then the whole Natiwe government may they discuss and then the Natiwe back we still lay on the limelight so I want to tell you that thank you and I want to reassure you that say everything they under control is excellency they make sure say on an hourly basis is brief about what we are doing and today the committee don't get in first meeting and uh, in the next days they will go see government will take action so I want to tell you that thank you so one thing the um, people have done is I think go for the, the head of the correctional center. Um, how come the people is it be able to get access to to um, something for light to be building? Well, in, interestingly, according to the report, oh, get the prisoners, they, you see, they're going to the catering section. The ten where they stay up for now, in the morning hours, where they prepare breakfast for prisoners. So they're able to go there and forget what they need, you understand, in terms of things, uh, uh, what they call for car light, the building. Eh. So now they're in the end of the explanation. Now they look, come up for themselves on a open day, open day in the morning? No, well, then break, then don't show the wire mesh. Then the transition route. That transition route, you get wire mesh. So the prisoner then broke that wire mesh there, then come off for the cell. Not to so DG, exactly according to the incident report. Yes, thank but like what, we say, like what we say, there is an investigation committee where they are. This investigation committee, they don't get enforced meeting, they don't set up themselves, they don't begin to do their work. Then they go bring a deeper insight into all the dynamics we up in there. The two things where they say that government immediately set up a committee for investigate, but president don't ask for a committee for set up for car loop, putting at the assessment of the damage, so that we we'll put resources and get the facility back on track. Yes, These sir. are the two okay. important things there. Um, how long uh, this committee? Because um, like the timeline, you know, for this investigation, because delay, you know, they always cause some other thing. Well, as you said, they see you go not say we we'll not get time. The committee said don't see say we need to put them facility there in place. The committee don't need for no say. Government never forget an insight into this for law we determine the next steps. So obviously the committee will not need for tell them then say and we are saying this is an emergency issue. This is something that their work is going to be rapid and then the report will be delivered immediately. Mr. Vice President, lastly, um, the public concern but um just the way we don't go around the talk on for born institution like then kind of so and this don't happen. I wanna take this particular message. As well, the then I will tell you, say, I will tell you, say, the government be not be proactive. You go find out, say, over the last couple of days, we don't increase security in the facility, and as a result of that increase of security, then I make we able to contain the situation there. But in addition to that, we they allow the investigation committee for go because they get a broader mandate. You understand and for looking into this. But like we are say, this now a facility we don't own. As chairman of the recreational service uh, council. Government don't they think creatively how for make sure say we operationalize the developmental aspect of correctional services. What in a correctional services? First you been get prison. Now they call them correctional services. Meaning we'll put prison at the day. We'll support them with skills building so that when they go out, they go get skills for become productive in a society. And then they know they will there and they work shock back where they support them, then destroy up. For just telling us, say, government get we immediate plan now for deal with this thing, the long term plan now for look at the possibility for relocate this prison with all what it need for become a functional and a viable correctional center. Psychosocial for the um, prisoners, they will be already they, from David traumatized. And what the government they do for make sure say they talk to, even though they are, they talk about rehabilitation. The one they waiting are now really traumatized. What the government they do for that? Well, I want to tell you, say, the, that the clinic, now them born, the staff they waiting at the clinical services there, they still there. So they will continue to provide all the clinical services they waiting to provide now in terms of engaging patients there. We don't relocate some of the inmates there. At least the prison would, like I tell you, the assessment will do now for put this facility on the right footing within the next couple of days. So that all the other services then they will come together as well. But be rest assured that everybody who don't assess the one they were injured, they take care of them, the one they way, 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 
we still get uh, challenges they will address them challenges that they but the clinical staff are there and they will continue to provide the services that are supposed to provide for image. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.